Georgia Southern Football 98. Brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Always Coca-Cola. Rozier Ford Lincoln Mercury in Statesboro. The dealership that does business the right way. Bullock Memorial Hospital. The new vision for health care in Southeast Georgia. Bubba Burgers. You'll never bite a better burger than a Bubba Burger. And Sea Island Bank. The better way to bank. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Georgia Southern Football 98. I'm Scott Pierce, along with Eagles head coach Paul Johnson. The Eagles back at home, the friendly confines, uh, play the East Tennessee State Bucks. East Tennessee comes in uh, struggling on the year at 2-5, and five, but they traditionally are one of the stronger teams and picked to be actually second in the league this year. Right, and I think their record's probably a little misleading. They've uh, opened up on the road at Miami and also had to play on the road at Mississippi State. And, uh, you know, that'd be a tough chore for anybody in our league. If you look at their uh, conference games, uh, you know, I think they lost to App State by four and uh, Western in overtime and uh, turned the ball over six times at the Citadel. And we know from last week that's a tough place to play. So uh, they got a good football team. Your team's coming off of a very strange game last week, uh, really struggling in the first half and then really turning it on in the second half to beat the Citadel. How was the team this week in practice? Well, I thought that uh, it was about back to normal. Uh, you know, we had okay practices, not great. Uh, we've talked a lot about trying to come out today and play for 60 minutes. Uh, you know, it's a big game for us and uh, we have a lot of our goals riding on this game this game you come in here and you're still undefeated you really control your own destiny and this is a game where uh, East Tennessee could really cause you some problems well they've got some very talented individuals I think uh, you know in the preseason all conference team they had more players than we did so uh, it's uh, they were picked to finish in the top half uh, a lot of respect for coach Hamilton he's uh, he and I've known each other for a lot of years and he's a good football coach and you know we expect a tough game should be another great game right here at Paulson Stadium the Eagles and the Bucks. Great Southern Conference football. Don't go away. We'll have a look at the first half highlights coming up. But first, the Coca-Cola play of the game. everybody, welcome back to Georgia Southern Football. The Eagles at home on a beautiful day to play football and a, a good weekend here. It's family parents weekend at Georgia Southern. Coach, it is just a great environment for football. Well, it really was a great day. I thought our crowd was good. We, we really got into the game and uh, it was a heck of a day for football. ETSU wins the toss, or rather Georgia Southern wins the toss. We defer to the second half, so ETSU gets the ball. East Tennessee comes out, Coach, and they use a good mix of running their tailback and they run it on in the end zone. Right, they got a great kickoff return to start the game and pushed it out to about midfield. Uh, disappointing that we didn't do a better job covering and uh, then really just ran the ball right down our throat. They got in a little unbalanced formation and we didn't get adjusted for a play or two again and uh, you know they, they ran it in on us. They had a uh, second down run at the goal line where they ran it to the goal line and then fumbled and were able to recover that for the touchdown. Right, it seemed like the ball was laying in the end zone there for a while and uh, I'm not sure, it looked like one of their linemen maybe got on it. So just like that, ETSU's leading 7-0 here in Paulson Stadium, but the Eagles get the ball back. We're able to get a good return. Corey had about a 42-yard uh, return to start us out and you get the offense moving down the field and it looks like we're going to be able to take it in. Right, uh, we had a good drive going. We were running the option and Greg was doing a great job getting the ball pitched and uh, you know, we got down and uh, bogged down a little bit and uh, had to call on Chris Chambers, and he came in and uh, kicked it through for us. Beautiful field goal, 7-3, ETSU gets the ball back on their second play after a big penalty against Georgia Southern. They're going to fumble the ball, and we're back in business. Right, uh, the defense did a good job uh, getting the, recovering the ball, and uh, gets the offense back out on the field, and we were able to mix it up a little bit uh, with the option inside and outside, and... Uh, you know, take it down and put punch in the end zone for a score. Early on, it looked like uh, East Tennessee was doing a lot of what Western Carolina did, really crashing in on the fullback, and the option was able to open that up. Right. Well, they were coming hard on uh, Adrian and uh, Greg. They wanted to try to take them, and, uh, you know, we, we got some good pitch plays to start to start with, and uh, Greg did a nice job getting the ball pitched for the most of the game. Benny Cunningham's going to take it in for the touchdown from the six-yard line. Georgia Southern leads with the extra point, 10-7. to seven. ETSU gets the ball down. They can't move. This is our good stop on the defensive part. Right. Uh, we were able, once we went ahead, we were able to go out and, 
and stop them and get their offense off the field. Georgia Southern's offense, though, can't fare much better. We're going to get a couple of uh, plays going, but then we're forced to punt after a sack. ETSU gets the ball back. They're able to drive down the field, and they're forced to punt again. The defense is out really for a time there. It looked like they were uh, stalling each other's offense. Well, what happened, I think, uh, you know, we end up getting a big penalty on our offense and uh, a holding call and backed us up, and then we got sacked. and. Uh, you know, then, then they went out and drove the ball a little bit, and our defense did a good job going up down there and, and stopping them when they got into our territory. At this point on the next drive in the second quarter, you're going to see the pitch really take over. Corey has a couple of big runs, and then also Adrian was finally able to open up and get some center running. Right. Uh, well, we were trying to mix in some options and find a way to get Adrian the ball because they were taking him on the triple so much, and we started to run a little twirl option and try to run some traps, but uh, some zone gives. But, uh, you know, if people want to come hard, take him hard and Greg hard, you know, we're, we're happy to pitch the ball to our guys, Corey and Benny and Sherrard and Audrell and those guys. Uh, they're very capable. To help get Southern out of a hole, Corey has a 26-yard run on the pitch, and then Adrian's going to take it in from the 21-yard line, a beautiful touchdown. Well, a great run. I tell you, I think he ran over about half the people on the field. He uh, was uh, zone played to our left side and uh, behind Marvin and uh, Rich McGrath and... Uh, you know, he he just really put his head down and, and ran with some power, and when he got in the secondary, he just wasn't going to be denied. With the extra point, that makes it Georgia Southern 17, ETSU 7. The Bucks get the ball back. They're able to drive down the field, but we're going to see a big sack by Eric Davis to stall their drive, and they're forced to punt again. Well, right, well, we got some good pressure on their quarterback at times today. Uh, you know, we lost our rush lanes a little bit, and he hurt us some scrambling, but... Uh, Eric was able in, to get some pressure outside. He and Benji Harris and, uh, you know, Von Sellis Allen was able to get some good pressure inside at times. Georgia Southern could not do anything with it, though. On the first play, we fumble. ETSU recovers deep in our territory on the 20. One play, one touchdown, a nice pass. Right, they hit a little corner route pass on us. It was well thrown, and, uh, you yeah, know, the guy made a nice catch. When offensively, we can't... Uh, can't turn the ball over down and give the defense a short field to play on. Von Sells Allen comes up big and blocks their extra point. Right. Uh, you know, our, our extra point, or field goal extra point block, have, have done a great job this year. We've gotten several blocks, and uh, I joked on the sideline, when Kawaki picks it up, we're going to have to teach him to lateral it to somebody. Because <laughs> now I know why he's playing defensive back. He, <laughs> he can't decide which way he wants to run with it. With that, it's now 17-13. to 13. Georgia Southern still leading, but it doesn't stay that way for long. Your big guy is going to take it 91 yards. Adrian Peterson on the first play for a beautiful long touchdown. Well, it was great. I tell you, they uh, play before they kick off, and we let the ball hit on the ground. Don't even catch it in the air to put ourselves in a big hole. And I joked on the side. I said, I think maybe uh, we did that so we could set Adrian up. But uh, tremendous cut. I mean, it was another zone play, and he cut it back all the way behind the backside guys and juke the corner and. Uh, you know, he was gone. DeMond Brown got a great block for him downfield. That makes it 24 to 13, Georgia Southern. ETSU gets the ball back. They're able to get it in the end zone. Their two-point try fails. It's 24 to 19, and we're able to add one more touchdown on a pretty pass to Corey. Right, uh, great job of running one-minute offense by Greg Hill and our receivers, and uh, you know, we got it down there and just missed Corey the play before on a, on a vertical route, and uh, our coach is actually up in the box. That was a great call. Uh, and Coach Seawalk saw that, and he called it down to me, and, uh, you know, that one, he called that one himself. So that was a good call on his part. Wide open for the touchdown. 31-19, to 19, Georgia Southern takes it in the locker room. We'll have a look at the second-half highlights coming up in just a few minutes. dangerous has Georgia Southern's offense been so far this season? Our team is just like a loaded gun, ready to go off. And this offense goes off every Saturday. So many weapons, starting with Adrian Peterson, the fullback, who has rushed for nearly 1,200 yards. Then there's quarterback Greg Hill, who can run and throw. And perhaps the biggest key, a veteran offensive line. Well, things are going real well right now for us. I mean, it's a blast when you're putting a bunch of points on the board like we're doing, and, you know, you're getting after people, and best of all, we're winning. 
The Eagles have one of the best offenses in Division I AA. They lead everyone in rushing yards, and they're averaging over 42 points a game. What makes the spread offense so difficult to defend? They can run the ball anywhere on the field for it, and you get a tremendous lateral stretch. The throwing element that's involved, although a lot of people downplay that because of our tremendous rushing stuff, just in order to stay sound against the deep throw, uh, it compromises your ability to stop all those running threats. You can't really simulate this in practice. I mean, they don't have the same speed or the, the quickness that we have. Needless to say, Coach Johnson has a lot of confidence in the Eagles' offense. You know, I think the guys have, have you know, run the system for a year. A lot of them are back and uh, got a better understanding. And Greg's doing a great job, uh, you know, getting us in the right place. That was, um, you know, I think some of the emotions run a little high and, you know, some people got just caught up in the um, action and, you know, like I said before, we're making silly mistakes and, you know, we just got to cut that out. It means a lot to us. Um, you know, a lot of teams try to come in and really run the ball, but against our defense, we are good against the run and we force them to pass and when we get them in that situation, I think that it plays into our hands sometimes and, you know, we like getting sacks and pressure on the quarterback. I feel great about the position because it gives us a lot of momentum going into the playoffs because if we finish up undefeated, we have home field advantage throughout the playoffs. And, and when we play at home, it's, it's good because it's hard for teams to win here. Yes, it definitely is. Uh, we don't want to share, so we want to go in there and get a victory and be outright, you know, Southern Conference champs again. Welcome back to Georgia Southern Football. The Eagles come out of the locker room 31-19. A lot of yardage in the first half, and the Eagles get the ball to start the second half. And Coach were able to move right down the field. You saw some big running, a nice pass mixed in, and we get the touchdown to take us up 38-19. Right, a, a great run by uh, Benny Cunningham on the pitch. Uh, and you know what? Our guys did a pretty good job blocking the perimeter all day, and can't say enough good things about Greg getting the ball pitched. Over and over, he uh, took the shot and and pitched the ball and gave us a chance to have some success. 55-yard touchdown run by Benny Cunningham. It is at 38-19 at this point. ETSU with the ball back is able to get a first down, but they're not able to move much. And then we see a great individual effort by Benji Harris on the block punt. Right, we were in, uh, seems like the thing that happens on punts for us when we line up and say punt, uh, they either fake them on us or, uh, you know, I, Benji is just going to ensure the kick, and uh, they didn't block him, and he was smart enough to go in and block it. So it was a great play by him. Georgia Southern recovers, and after an offsides penalty against the Bucks, we get our first down, and we're going to throw an interception on the first play. Right on some play action, and uh, just a misread. We had the guy on the wheel right, I think, uh, uncovered going down the boundary, but. Uh, you know, we didn't make the right decision and uh, forced the throw when they picked it off. ETSU can't move much either. On their possession, they're forced to punt, but we're going to see another turnover. Corey trying to get a little extra yardage, fumbles the punt return. Right, uh, extra effort and uh, was really struggling, but we've got to do a better job securing the ball. Uh, ball was out way too many times today, and we've got to do a better job blocking it up. Another turnover, though. ETSU cannot do much with it. They fumble right back to Georgia Southern. The Eagles can't make any offensive headway, so we're forced to punt. ETSU fumbles again. This time, Josh Smithers returns. And as you said, the ball was on the ground a lot today. It sure was. Uh, you know, we've got to do a better job uh, securing it. They had had a problem all year with turnovers. And, uh, you know, I give our defense credit. They were able to, to pull some out today. Actually ripped a couple out. And, uh, you know, we were able to convert that one. We ran a little counter play. And they crossed everybody down, chasing the fullback. And Greg was able to bounce outside. And with his speed, uh, once they got outside, they weren't going to catch it. 52-yard touchdown run for Greg Hill with the extra point. Uh, is no good at that point after a penalty. It's 44-19 Georgia Southern. ETSU gets the ball back, and as they move on into the fourth quarter, Todd Wells, a good quarterback, was able to get him in the end zone with a pass. Right. Uh, they, they were able to convert and, uh, you know, got their passing game going and uh, hit a little corner out on us in man coverage there again. And, uh, 
you know, got got it in for six. It looked like in the third quarter and really most of the fourth quarter, uh, our offense really never got in gear. We had a couple long runs, which are great, but uh, we couldn't really move the well, ball. Well, that has to do with the way they were playing on defense. They were committing a lot of folks to the run and a lot of guys inside, and, uh, you know, when you actually did it right, you were going to hit them for big plays. And we, we were just out of sync. We were having a hard time getting the ball snapped on time, and, uh, you know, we just – didn't play very well. A lot of penalties as well, 125 yards today. Right, and any time you do that, you're going to put yourself in a bind. Not only are you keeping yourself from getting first downs and staying on the field, you're allowing them to stay on the field. So uh, something that's disappointing and we got to work on. After the ETSU touchdown, Georgia Southern can't move the ball, so we're able to force the punt back to the Bucks. The Bucks move the ball a little bit. They punt to us, and we're able to move the ball down. A nice 11-play uh, drive, but we're not able to get in the end zone. We have to kick the field goal. Right. It was a, a nice drive, and we were able to take some time off the clock. It was disappointing we couldn't get in the end zone. Uh, there again on the play-action pass, uh, you know, we had a chance to make a play, and this time they committed the penalty with a late hit to give us a first down, and we were able to... Uh, you know, take that to our advantage and go down and put points on the board. That is the last scoring of the game, 47 to 26. The Eagles take another one at home. We got a big game on the road next week, though, against Furman. We'll preview it coming up right after this. Eagles big winners here today, 47 to 26 over the ETSU Bucks. And coach, one more Southern Conference game. You got to go up to Furman and the big rivalry against the Paladins. Right. Uh, I guess through the years it's been a big rivalry. Uh, even uh, when I was here before, we used to meet them in the playoffs occasionally. And uh, you know, I think both teams uh, feel like that that uh, the two uh, prospective schools are probably our natural rivalry in the conference. The Paladins coming off of the off week, an extra week to prepare for the Eagles. Uh, what are you likely to see from them? Well, I think they'll probably, uh, you know, spend the off week uh, to work on some different things and some variations off what they do, both offensively and defensively, and really to get some guys healthy. They've been really banged up, and it comes at a good time for them to try to get some guys healthy. Their quarterback uh, missed the ETSU game, and they've had their, one of their safeties out. Just a lot of injuries, so I'm sure that they're going to use it to try to get healthy. The Eagle offense all season has uh, done very well today, no exception. A lot of yards today. Your fullback, Adrian Peterson, more individual awards, set the 1AA freshman rushing record today. Well, you just can't say enough good things about Adrian. He's a tremendous, tremendous young man and a great football player, and, you know, he deserves everything he gets. I I'm so happy for him. and. Uh, you know, he's just a, a class guy. We did see, we talked about it earlier, uh, some of the problems today, some penalties, uh, some uh, miscues on the offensive line, things that uh, we've got to get cleared up. Right. I didn't think we played particularly well inside today uh, uh, on the offensive line. And, uh, you know, those guys have played so well all year. And the uh, it was disappointing. But, uh, you know, when, when it's all said and done, we still had over 500 yards and 47 points. So I guess they did enough things. Uh, good for us uh, to be able to win a game. It was a big win for the Eagles today at home. Two more games left on the schedule. The most important one, the next one, up in Greenville. The play Furman, we'll see after the game. It should be a great one. Thanks for joining us on Georgia Southern Football 98. Southern Football 98. Brought to you in part by Coca-Cola. Always Coca-Cola. Rozier Ford Lincoln Mercury in Statesboro. The dealership that does business the right way. Bullock Memorial Hospital. The new vision for healthcare in Southeast Georgia. Bubba Burgers. You'll never bite a better burger than a Bubba Burger. And Sea Island Bank. The better way to bank.